Hi guys and ladies, I thought I'd be stuck in the house this week and the wind chill outside was zero yesterday. I had planned to make low carb chicken fried steaks and fake mashed potatoes, but I just had to give fishing a try. I'm addicted to fishing. So here's what happened and when we come back, we'll cook. I'm gonna make my first cat right here off the dock. I got one! <laughs> Whoa! It's a beauty! I got a beautiful bluegill! Oh, oh! I sense something. The line is moving. Yeah! <laughs> okay! <laughs> it's big enough for food! I have one! Oh, I caught three nice fish today. That's it, I'm going in the house. I had to stay on the dock. The ice was less than two inches thick, but it was bitter cold out there. I was shocked to catch a fish, but now let's get going with our chicken fried steak. First, let's throw together some tasty roasted red peppers. Look what I found in the supermarket. De Lalo roasted red peppers in olive oil and garlic. This is authentic Italian. Product of Peru. There's a lot of Italians in Peru. Let's slice these up. I guess you have to empty it out into a bowl first. Oh, there you go. Hey, piece of garlic. It's one massive red pepper. My hands are clean. I got rid of most of that olive oil. Now I'm gonna put these back in the bowl. Now here I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of oregano and I'll just mix everything together. We're done, we're done. This is, let's put this aside and get on with these recipes. Look what I found at my local grocery store. Cauliflower florets already cut into florets by this guy, the Jolly Green Giant. He's the guy that lives at the end of the beanstalk. Let's microwave these. As long as you can easily pierce these florets with a fork, look, they're done. Oh, yes. I'm going to try to dry these out some. Oh, dear. Oh, over the place. I've patted these dry, and now I'm just going to fill the food processor with these florets somehow. Let's just run this thing for a minute or two. Now, I have a half stick of butter and a half box of cream cheese going in. Soften. I've got a half teaspoon each of salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. I've got a half a cup of sharp shredded cheese here. Cheddar. Here's one quarter cup of Pecorino Romano. Of course, you could use Parmigiano Reggiano or that stuff in the green container. That's all there is to it. Well, except for the processing. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's onto the steak, and look what I found at the supermarket. It's cubed steak beef round. Let's get going. Now I'm sprinkling each of these with kosher salt. The recipe says sea salt, but I don't live near the sea. I live near a lake. Let's do the same routine with pepper. Let's just put these aside. I'm not sure what I'm doing. In a shallow bowl, combine the heavy cream and eggs, fork, whisk. Hmm. These are extra large eggs. Here's about a quarter cup or more of heavy cream. It's time for the dry mixture. I don't know about you, but I'm always, always running out of dry ingredients. So I'm doubling this recipe. Here are three cups of breadcrumbs. Ah, 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 you know me. These are not ordinary breadcrumbs. These are ground up pork rinds. Pork panko, they call them. Three cups. Here's a whole cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. You have to say it like that. Parmigiano Reggiano. Here are three teaspoons each of garlic powder and onion powder, two teaspoons of paprika, a half teaspoon of cayenne. You've seen me do this so many times with fish before. Well, here we're gonna try it with steak. Chicken fried steak. First in the egg wash. Then we'll just let it drain. Now into our phony breadcrumbs. And parmigiano reggiano. Now let's just coat this. Oh, it's so much easier when you have extra to work with. We'll shake it off and put it in our holding plate. Okay, let's continue. This is our last steak. Now let's get our cast iron skillet going. Here it goes, I'm so nervous. I'm always nervous. We'll go two. Batches of two. About three minutes on each side. Better check. You know, a lot of people are put off by pork rinds instead of breading. But think about it. You're not put off by, by bacon. <laughs> this is just bacon powder. Time to flip. <laughs> Looks good, really nice. Very, very nice. Looks good. While I have a chance, I ought to let you all know I have the great honor of hosting dinner tonight for the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and I'm on cloud nine. Uh, although we've been dating countless years and I, I don't know why, but she seems to be avoiding marrying me. And I think it has something to, to do psychologically. It, it's a psychological block with her with her in marriage. Oh well. These are coming off. Look at that. How nice. Time to make gravy now. I'll keep these warm in the oven. I'm a city guy. I don't know anything about country sausage. I'm a transplant here out in the country. So I don't know if I should remove the casing or not, but I need to slice these up. These are maple, Bob Evans maple pork sausage links. I got some butter. And here's our Bob Evans pork sausage with maple, 12 ounces. I'm gonna brown it up. Our sausage looks nice and brown. I'm gonna get it out of this skillet somehow. I got the sausage out. Now in go onions. I've got about a cup here. I've lowered our heat. Now I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of chopped garlic from the jar, the easy way. I've got a cup and a half, a little more, of heavy whipping cream. Let's put that in there. Here's a half teaspoon of salt. Kosher. I'm still cheating. Here is lightly dried parsley I got from the store. And look, it comes already chopped like that. And it's almost as good as fresh. I've been boiling our cream. And look, it's thickened up so nicely. I'm going to pour the sausage back in. 
And I'm gonna pour this mixture all over our chicken fried steak. Well, here we are once more with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for accepting my invitation to my uh, homely, uh, humble hut in the woods. And you had a chance to desirously devour my chicken fried steak with phony mashed potatoes and roasted red peppers. Uh, so uh, what did you think? Oh, it was very good. The, the steak was tender and very flavorful, and I liked the breading, and the gravy was tasty with the sausage, mm. and the, of course the mashers are always good, and the uh, red peppers added a nice uh, color and, and taste, taste uh, contrast. Oh, thank you so very much. Very nice. The breading was bacon powder. We like to say bacon powder. Yes, yes. <laughs> Miss Cheeks, uh, you, you know what I think? I think the relationship between a husband and wife is psychological. Oh. Well, one is psycho and the other is logical. Huh? Oh. Can I have a hug?